In uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove green screen. So let's create a new composition. Now I'm going to select the resolution for this composition. Here we have a few presets. I'm going to go with this resolution. You can also select here the enter the frame rate and then uh, background. And then click on OK. Now here, just uh, project import your videos and then you can uh, right click here and then import and then file or use the shortcut control plus i and now i'm going to import uh, my video these videos are from uh, pixabay now here i have this video Hold shift so it locks in. And then here in this effects and presets, and if you can't find this, just go to window, and here you should be able to find effects presets. Click on that, and you'll be able to enable it. You'll enable this uh, panel. You can also use Control plus five. And here in the search bar, uh, in the search bar, right key light, and now just drag this effect we found here just drag this effect this one onto your video now here in properties we have uh, new settings if you can find effects controls or this uh, panel make sure you go to window and you click on effects panel all right also here we have properties you can uh, also if you just messed up and you don't have this in because now I'm in a workspace effect in this workspace called effects click on that as well and make sure if you don't if your workspace doesn't look like mine make sure you click on reset effects to saved layout if your layout doesn't look like mine now let's click on this pickup tool let's actually go to feet uh 100 or just just feet and then click on this uh, pickup color and select the green because we're trying to or we want to remove this green but before doing that also make sure you click on screen mask it's not uh, you don't have to especially right now I mean you can actually click on here and select the green and then we just have to increase get gain all right so that's what we have to do here we can see source and of course now by just increasing this we can inc we can remove the green right and now we actually remove the green and what can we do right now is actually if you go to the final result you see we don't have green and you just have to play with the green screen now we have green now we don't have green and when uh, i can actually show this to you that there's no green behind now if i actually go to actually the project to project here i have a video and i'll move this on top actually this uh, video with green screen is on top and the video uh, is under this uh, this lego stuff a video I have here this Lego video and now I can actually go to the from these arrows here go back to effects control and here I can play with and change the uh, the green uh, screen because I have be, because if I add too much screen gain then you won't see his uh, this part of the body make sure you decrease this And now 
it's a little bit transparent this but I doesn't affect me in any way so for me it's fine but make sure you find the right um the right setting just make sure you play with it and then that's pretty much what you have to do and this part as you can see it's a little bit affected but um that's pretty much it so now we have our video here here you can see you can see here screen inside mat outside mat so you also have a couple of options here for instance you can inside mask softness we can increase this outside mask the foreground color we can add some corrections here we can enable uh, enable color correction saturation is set to 100 uh, color suppression you also you have clean key cleaner and alpha contact strength and advanced split super uh, suppressor so yeah i'm just reading now all the settings here but it's cool now i'm not going to go into it all the settings but <clears throat> i don't want to make this video too long but yeah i really hope you learn something also if you want to if you right click here right over here and you go to new you can actually add a solid background if you want to see uh, the video image you remove the green screen from and you want to see that from a solid background then we can add just add the blue solid background and we have our video here and and uh, those that are curious to know how to actually add a drop shadow to our green screen here in effects and presets please write drop shadow and here we have perspective drop shadow preset stack drop shadow i'm just gonna grab this one and drag it onto our layer or the one that we want from the green screen and now here i can actually expand this and here i should see drop shadow and we have right over here we just have to expand this and we can increase the distance usually i like to add more softness and then um, direction and then uh, the uh, direction and it looks already really good composition options we also have here effects opacity and softness and shadow okay you can also just disable and now you only see the shadow which is pretty cool and and that's pretty much it um I really hope now you're more familiar with Adobe After Effects. I really hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions related to Adobe After Effects, leave your questions down below and I'll create a tutorial for you. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best and I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. Uh, take care.